There's obviously a little bit of controversy surrounding how Tua came back into the game mm -hmm. after this play. So we'll just play this here and um, just look at this here. So here's what I want to know. So he gets shoved, and at first I was like, "Oh, that doesn't look bad," but you can see his head whip down, and it, it hits the it hits the turf. So was this the first time he got injured, or was he out prior and just came back? And this is when he came back. No, so this is when he got injured, oh. and yeah, he is stumbling. He's seeing stars right now. And to me, so there's people saying that he has back spasms. To me, okay, say a back spasm can make you fall, but it doesn't look like he's having back spasms when he's like, he literally grabs, he grabs for his like head a few times. So, so like dolphin fans are like he's to like shaking his head. Look at he's the like dolphin fans are trying to claim that a back spasm caused this. Yes, yes. That's idiotic. And he's hold like he's like kind of holding his head. Uh huh. I don't know. Well, clearly, clearly he's got a concussion. So what I don't understand, because I didn't get to see this game, this is when he gets the concussion and he comes in after yes. this? Yes. Guess who's back for the second half. So this is just before halftime. Wow. And he comes back out. Can you show me the NFL concussion protocols? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have that? Yeah. There's no way he passed them. So this is kind of... So here's the NFL's concussion protocol. If they see an impact to the head, they call a timeout. The player's escorted off the field to be examined and evaluated. So that did happen. Yeah, Aside and they the didn't, they didn't even take him into the medical tent. They went straight into the locker room. So it's like, that makes it seem a lot worse Aside to me. Aside from the spotters, I agree with you. Other players, other people can initiate the protocol. So what do they have to do then? Isn't it like a five-step process? Yeah, yeah, I think it so says it kind of down right there. Right here. The players prescribed rest until his science and symptoms and neurologic examination, including cognitive and balance tests, return to baseline status. But this is after you've already been deemed to have yes, a concussion. Yes, so I believe... So it's whoever the live person on site was. Yes, yes. They said, oh, to a year fine, you don't have a concussion. Right, that's... Yeah, that's what they went for. Well, how did he, how did he look when he came back out? He's, I, I guess he seemed perfectly fine. Trey goes, he remembered his name and his birthday. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Send him out there. <laughs> so, my name is Tui Tagovailoa, born on May, May 5th, 1998. So the NFLPA, they're having an investigation of the process that resulted in him being cleared to come back out. Mm -hmm. Because after seeing that video, it seems a little iffy on how he was allowed to come back out. It's really hard though, because if say you're the trainer, mm -hmm. And you saw that, and you're like, shit. But then Tua, who know, who knows what really? Tua, he could be kind of his head's ringing. But you know, there's a lot of people, players that are they don't want to they don't want to leave the game. Right. Like so if Tua they'll just be is like, sitting there yelling at you. Right. Like, put me in the fucking game. I'm yeah. fine. Put me in the fucking yeah. game. And, what are you gonna be? And he see and he can he knows where he is. He's he's cognizant of everything. Mm -hmm. Then who are you gonna be to say no? You're not going back in to this multi-million dollar asset that the Dolphins have, mm -hmm. then maybe the, the trainer in the back of his head's thinking, I don't want the owner coming at my ass and we're going to lose this game because I didn't yeah. want him to play. Well, I, I think... It's hard, know, I don't though. know it's if they're allowed to, to do this or if it should be done, but here could be a baseline test. If the score is 42-0 to zero and you're playing the New York Jets, right. do you pull Tua there? Right, yeah, true. If it's 42-0, to zero, you see that happen. Is Tua coming back in the game? I'm going to say the answer is absolutely. We'll call it the New York Jets test, okay? Right. If you're smashing a horrible team, do you keep your quarterback in? No matter what, who the quarterback is, doesn't matter if it's your starter, your second string, your third string, doesn't matter if you're fifth string tight end or your starting tight end. If you see a player react like that, do you keep him in the game? Yeah. Or do you no. put him back in the game? Yeah. I feel like that should be the test. So I don't I know. Think, I think it's very hard to... I was just about to say, bro, they probably gave him a, a Perk Rogers. They gave him a Perk 90 and they just said, get out there, bud. Yeah. So here is other clips compiled of players that were absolutely rocked mm -hmm. and they came into the game and this player pierce alec pierce actually was looked at according to reports put back in and then after the game he entered concussion protocol after the oh game. so he totally fucking got it dude this hit holy shit this hit right here this is leading Whop. with the crown of the helmet that should have been a was it was he ejected? Oh, he was ejected. Okay, good. I was about to say, that is a clear targeting. Oh, they call it unnecessary roughness? He should have been ejected for that, bro. It he is tough because it looks like helmet. he does get, like, right up. But holy crap. He fucking rocked him. Bro. He got rocked. It looks like Crimson Chin and CFM right we there. We got another one here. Dude, this one's so bad. T. Higgins. This one's so bad. 
I don't. I'm not oh. as mad about that one. I feel like that one was happening too fast for him to have stopped. He also jumped at a weird angle and then his body lowered. Uh. The fact that he caught that ball is fucking insane. Shit's crazy. All right, here's my question. Here's my sad question of the day. Do you think football is a sport in 10 years? I've heard a lot of people say that it won't be a sport in 10 years. There's a lot of money in it. So I was just going to say, I think out. there's way too much money in it. Uh, what I think is crazy that they actually added a game. I can't fucking believe they did that. Oh, yeah. yeah. There were 16 yeah, games before. Now there's 17. It's just I can't all believe money, they did dude. that. It's all money. I, I think definitely will still be a sport, 100%. But, yeah, they. I mean, they have to... I guess, I mean, the UFC is a sport. Those right. guys are... I mean, all these dudes know what they're they're in for type uh -huh. thing, you know? You know, they're not going out there expecting to die or anything. Right. But, like, everyone knows the, the game and what could happen. But, yeah, I think there's definitely... It'll still be around. There's way too much money in it. I think... Just like any any war, dude. How much money is wrapped in just it's a good point. wars yeah, in I general? Guess you know what I mean? Those die. Shit. I mean, yeah, I guess when I think about a UFC, MMA... Yeah, boxing, Mai Tai, it's all an actual sport. So. Right. I just think I don't. I don't know what what do you uh, knuckle MMA because the the up. concussion protocol is looked at every year. <sighs> yeah, player safety is more important now than it will only get better. You know what I think would be the sickest piece of technology in the future that like I don't know if this is actually possible, but if it was, would be so sick. Such advanced immersive virtual reality that players can actually practice, get better, and understand plays and reps without physically touching a football field. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you get all these non-contact practice injuries. And I get it. When you go out there and play football, you still got to actually do that. But like, what if you could do one practice a week in full pads or in half pads, full speed, and then the other three, you're in VR, learning the plays, learning the cuts, and it's so advanced and immersive that it's real. Like, you, you are actually learning. But there's like no chance. But you're of not actually doing anything. Yeah, you could fucking truck somebody over in VR, mm -hmm. and the physics would ad adapt to what you're actually doing in real life. Yeah, but that would be really sick. I think there's like a thing of yeah, it's called Madden. Shut the. Fuck <laughs> I think up. there's like a thing of players actually playing, like playing though. Like I feel like that's why you see a lot of injuries early in the season is because people are not in football form yet. It's a good point. You get what if, I'm if saying? If you start doing VR practices, then people are just going to get lit up in real life. And it's going to hurt way more because their body's not used to a, taking a beating type thing. Well, I guess if I'm doing hypothetical tech, we should be able to put force fields on players. Like, <laughs> like half an inch no force field <laughs> around every piece of your body. So physically, you still get tackled or yeah. break a tackle the same way, but you're actually invincible. Just no one gets injuries anymore. Yeah, it's, so it's then so then simple. they can bring back crack backs and don't even wear helmets. Oh, Fuck it. Dude, if you can make people invincible, you could bring back that real They're Just shit, rugby baby. this shit. No uh, pads, no helmet. Fight somebody, just bring a sword. Bare knuckle box. Bring a sword. It should just be butt naked at that point. <laughs> Might as well. No need pads, just no need pants. Don't rocked need up, stiff arm with the mm. third leg. Oh Screw my it. god. Screw that it. That makes me so meta. <laughs> I would fucking pop a Viagra before every play. Who's tackling oh, me, bro? Some blue chew, too. Yup. Get the Jeez. adrenaline going.